G'day everyone, today we're going to be fitting a Garmin 95 UHD to a Fruza F15 Fisher. We'll have a look around the boat. Gone ahead and put the template on there, measured everything out, got all the gaps right, everything's sitting perfect, made sure I've got clearance behind, got all my drills, got all the tools needed, all the drill bit sizes are written on the template. Uh, there we go. I'll just use a step drill for those corners. So we are going to fit the 95 UHD, which is an all-in-one kit. Really, really cool unit. Inbuilt maps, transducer, everything's in here. Everything you need. Get it opened up. There's the screen. So I've gone ahead and taken the template out and set that up. So we're going to cut into the aluminium dash. And we're going to set the set the screen right in there. I've already checked in the back. There's nothing we can hit. So I'll set you up, and we're going to cut it out and get into it. So first thing I like to do is go ahead and um, drill all these holes here. These these are the holes that'll hold the screen on. And to do that, to get in there, we want to take the steering wheel off. So we pop that off with a screwdriver. Turn it around, there's a little gap. There it is. Pop that off, pop the cap off. Undo the nut, I'll hold the steering wheel and undo it. Just gonna take the nut off to the end of the thread so we can hit it with a hammer. So we're gonna put some weight on the back of the steering wheel and we're gonna hit the nut. Undo it a little bit more. This is already loose, there we go. Put that back together, make sure we don't lose the little key. Put the nut back on there. Right, so we're going to drill these out next, we're going to center punch them, nice sharp center punch, right on the dot there, so those are 3.2 mils, so I'm going to rip through with a slightly smaller drill to start. Now through the one and eighth. That's them done. So next we're going to drill out these corners here and we're going to cut the rest out with the angle grinder. So we're going to just pilot hold them first before we go straight to the tent. So back with the center punch. enough. Now we're going to hit them with a hit them with a step drill. We're just going to drill out to that outside edge. Um, there's a little bit of that's the outline there is the outline of the sounder. That's the outline of the cover. So there's a little bit of give and take, but we don't want to get it too far out.
that all done so now we're going to cut on this thick black line with the angle grinder with a one millimeter cutoff wheel so just before we do that i'm going to tape it up so the paper doesn't rip otherwise we're going to lose our lines so pretty much just each side of the black line So now we're good to go, we're going to cut out the black line, you can still just see her there, joining up to the edges of the holes. Grab the old disc grinder. top here it's all cut out I'm gonna give that a bit of a tidy up now I'm gonna tidy up with a sander Let's give her a test fit. Perfect. Better make that work. Take the tape off. Send up. Right, that's it done. Happy as with that. So the 95 UHD comes with the, the screen and it's got that on the back. So that, put that up there. That clips into this holding plate here, which then has all your, your NEMA, your power, sonar and all that on the back. So we're going to undo this off the bracket, and this is going to clip to the back of the screen. So I'm going to take these off. So if we were going to be dash mounting it, we'd be mounting it up there on this bracket, that bracket would be there, that on there and screen on this. Since we're mounting it in the dash we've still got to mount it on this because that plug there 
goes into the back of the screen, so take that off. And we're going to fit this with the three clips to the part of the screen with the three holes. We're going to make sure it's, make sure it's clicked right on and it's tight. That's the, that's the clamping mechanism there. Pull that down and pull it out to take it off if you have to. Just like that. But when you put it together, it needs to click. It takes quite a bit of force to get that in there. So then we have our plugs. Make sure that doesn't get caught in there. Power, transducer, NEMA cable. Right, so that can go in there now. That still fits in there nicely. It's taken up all the slop. That'll be fine. So next thing we're going to do is pop these things off the top here. So we can see the screws. Fiddly little things they are. Got little clips on them. So I just want to get them behind there and give them a little... This one off. Two off. So we are, get that up the right way. Visual on the holes, make sure the holes all line up. And they do, pretty much. So that's all good. Now we're going to put the rubber around there. Rubber gasket that comes in the box. I normally stick these to the aluminium, not to the, not to the sounder. Open that up, get that out. One up there, one there, one on the side, one on the other side. Neighbours are busy with the lawnmower and the scale saw by the sound of it. One of the one of those days today. Get the corner on. Stretch in. make sure that it doesn't hang out above the screen. Which it does up there. And that inside of it. It's here. Now grab the screws and we're going to dry fit the screws. These, these are the screws, they're separate from the other bag. The other bag's got all the transducer stuff in it. So now we're going to dry fit these. Or not dry fit, we're going to test, test fit them. Let's go and grab some lubricant.
So we're going to chuck uh, everything that goes into aluminium that's stainless steel needs uh, a guard on it, corrosion eliminator, so we'd use Tef Gel. Good thing about Tef Gel is that it, it helps get the screw through the hole, less chance of snapping the heads off. So we'll see how that goes. Get the drill bit set up first. Low speed. left in there. Right. So let's put the screw in here nice and slowly. Check this in here. Screw. Drop the screw. First one in. Don't do them all the way up tight to start with. We're just pretty much just fitting it loosely. Man, need some more of this stuff. Top. So just till it touches the screen, no pressure on the screen yet. We don't want to damage it. just going to nip it up with a screwdriver making sure that it goes up nice and square you can't bend the screen if it's not right you need to take it out and you need to make your hole bigger right so that's it it's got the rubber gasket on this so just nip it up against that a little bit at a time and that's the screen fitted Put the little clips back on the back, on the top. Make sure you get them the right way. Bang and bang. That's them done. Take it off there for a minute. So that's it fitted in the dash. When you put the template on, don't be too worried about measurements. A lot of it's got to look right. No one's going to get into your boat with a tape measure. So when you're setting it up, just make sure, do some measurements off the top using the template, of course, and off the side. And most importantly, make sure there's nothing behind when that um, your cable, cables go on the back. You need plenty of room for them to go on and then they'll be rooted through the side and all that. And then making sure, importantly, that you can see it over the steering wheel. So when I'm sitting here, I can see it over the steering wheel nicely. So that's it. I'm going to go ahead and power it all up hook it all the power up and then I'll um, do another another video about um, putting the transducer on and how you get the transducer set up right. Um, transducer is the most important thing to get right. If you don't have the transducer right, you're not going to get a good picture. 
So if this video has been any help, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. And any questions, anything I've done wrong, um, feel free to comment. Always happy to improve. Thanks for watching.